So what the fuck is a gradient? I'm gonna try to teach you that in 90 seconds. Wish me luck. So the gradient is defined as the derivative of a field. So there's two parts to that, obviously. There's the derivative and there's the field. So we're gonna cover both of them quickly. Hopefully you already know what a derivative is if you're learning about gradients, but uh, let's say we have a graph. So this graph shows a position function, which is r for position with respect to time. And we want to know the derivative, which is, let's say, at this point, p. Uh, the derivative is the rate of change of the position at that point. So we can draw that. So that's the derivative. And that is also equal to dr over dt. So derivative is just rate of change. Now, what about a field? What's the field? You can think of a field as a grid where every single point in space has its own value. Uh, so let me draw that really quick. Imagine this is a graph of temperature and each of these points has a value. Let's denote that by different colors. So red is a warm temperature. We might have blue for cold temperatures, and then maybe there's some other color in between. So you can see that every one of these points, uh, which is, we can call that t at x comma y for the point, and each one has a different value for temperature. So it equals to some temperature, call it red. And you can see that every point in space has a different temperature, which means that every point the temperature changes as you move in space. Um, so you should be able to see what I'm getting at. The gradient is the derivative of the field, so it's how the field changes as you move in each direction of space. So rate of change of some value, um, in our example here, we have the value of temperature as it moves in each direction of space. So the gradient is a vector. Um, it's denoted by the upside down triangle. So gradient of t, gradient of temperature is equal to sum of vector, and it is equal to the derivative of temperature in the x direction and derivative of temperature in the y direction. That is your value, your definition of a gradient. I hope that makes sense.